Do you need to send a quote to a client? Let me show you how with JotForm Sign. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing I want to do is go up to the top left hand corner to where it says my forms. We're going to switch this over to my signed documents. Next, we're going to go up into the top left again to click on the create signed document button. And if you already have a PDF version of your quote, you can always use the upload document option. But for this example, we're going to use the template. Now, if you'd like, you can always utilize the search option up at the top, but I'm going to go over to the proposals over on the left hand side and let's take a quick scroll. And I think this one page proposal template is going to work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and use the template. Now, before I make any edits to any template, I always like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So it looks like we have two different colors, which signifies two different people who are going to be signing this document. So we have orange, who is me. And then we can see the blue fields are going to be my client. We scroll down, we see the two signatures right here at the bottom. Perfect. So let's go up to the top and let's head to the settings tab. Now, if we need to change the name of this document, we can do that here. If we're going to send an email, we can do that. Let's go ahead and do please sign ASAP. And if we have any integrations, we can do that here. Now, if we head to the send tab, this is where the magic happens. We can see that it has already pre-populated me in. So I need to put my client. Let me go ahead and put her. Now you can see to the right of every person who is going to be receiving this, there is a key and a message icon. The key is going to be if you'd like to add in a password or a passcode. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and put the passcode as one, two, three. And then the message option is going to allow you to send a private message to specific people. So the message that we set in the settings tab, please sign ASAP is going to go to everyone. This one is just going to go to my client. So let's go ahead and let them know the passcode is one, two, three. Now you can see who has a passcode and who has a message by the icons changing to blue. Now we do also have some options. If you're interested, we have an expiration date, automated reminders. And if you would like to delegate the signing responsibility, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. But if we head over to recipients, if I send it to sign now, both my client and myself are going to receive this at the exact same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to receive it first so I can pre-fill it out. Then when I'm done, my client will receive it. To do this, we're going to click right here and turn on signing order. So now we can see my client is going to get it first and me second. We want to change that. I'm just going to click on these dots right here and move me up to the top. Perfect. So I'll get it first and then my client will get it second. So let's go ahead and send to sign. Now let's head over to my email and let's fill this out. So we can see here the general message, please sign ASAP. So I'm going to go ahead and review and sign document. And the great thing about this is it's going to automatically pre-fill some things for us. So I'm going to go ahead and just head down to the bottom. I'm going to do my signature field. Now, the really great thing about our signature field, it is very complex. So if we want, we can have this be our signature. But if we want to change the style to maybe a different font or even a different color, we can do that. Or we can utilize the draw option and draw our signature. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and sign and complete and accept and send. And let's head over to my client's email. So here we see that general message again, please sign ASAP, but we also have that message letting us know the passcode is one, two, three. So let's go ahead and review inside document and we'll enter in our passcode, then validate. And I'm just going to come down here. Let's go ahead and utilize that signature option, sign and complete and accept and send. Good deal. Now, next, I want to head back over to our jot form and right here where it says sign builder in the top left hand corner, I want to change it over to inbox. Now, one thing you'll notice is all the tabs across the top. We have all of our documents, ones waiting for our signature, others or completed. So if we jump over to completed, we will see this completed document. Now we know that this was a one page document. However, if we take a quick scroll, we see there's an extra page. We have an audit trail. So this is really great because you get to see where this went and how long it took in between each stage. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about sending a quote to a client, let us know and I'll see you next time.